What up everybody, it's me, Blake316, here to talk about the Sony E3 2016 press conference. I literally have my notes here on my uh, uh, Twitter page, my shameless plug of my Blake316 Twitter page. Go make sure to follow me, but I'm going to flat out say it, you probably already seen it in the title, Microsoft flat out won. E3 2016. Yes, Microsoft won E3 2016. Now let me let me tell you why by giving my review of this uh, PlayStation Sony E3. For starters, they started off with some weird fucking music. I was like, what is this music that they're playing? Whatever. I guess they're trying to they're trying to build up momentum and anticipation for what's about to happen. But bro, it more like sounded like funeral music for the death of their press conference after what Microsoft did earlier today. But they start off with a God of War uh, trailer, uh, and they pretty much announced God of War for the PlayStation 4. Me, personally, I didn't think the trailer looked that good. It looked like the rise of the God of War. It looked like the God of War took so many aspects of a uh, Tomb Raider that... It almost looked as if a God of War Tomb Raider clone. Like, there was a part in the scene where he was teaching a kid how to hunt with a bow and arrow. Why is the God of War, Kratos, hunting? Like, he's the fucking God of War, right? I, I just, it didn't look that good. It looked like they were, they were using aspects of the rise of the Tomb Raider. And it didn't look all that good to me. It looked pretty boring. Uh, like I said, the rise of the God of War. <laughs> Uh, they showed uh, The Last Guardian. It got an announcement date. People were cheering. It was October 25th, 2016. I'm pretty sure that's October 25th, 2016 in Japan because in the trailer, they were speaking a different language that wasn't English, bro. So it's not coming out this year for America. I'm saying it now. Uh, the Horizon, a lot of people were saying, oh, man, Horizon looks so good. Yo, the Horizon world looks huge, and it looks fucking boring and lifeless. It looked like nothing was happening. Like, they were just running around, and there was a couple enemies here and there. It didn't look all that good. Now, the crazy thing is Sony, they showed a trailer for that game Detroit. In the trailer, they're showing how you can manipulate time. You can go backwards and, and forward in time and change, like, current events. They showed a girl getting fucking murdered. They showed like a guy taking a little kid, I don't know if it's a girl, girl or boy, a kid, and jumping off the building and killing the kid in the fucking trailer with all the tragic events that were happening at E3. And then they later on like, oh no, we changed the current event and we saved the kid. Still, why would you do that? That's kind of really bad timing. Detroit, honestly, it looked like some watchdogs bullshit that I've seen before that's probably not going to be any good. Um... They did show Resident Evil 7. You know what? Resident Evil 6 was trash, but I'm never going to, you know, uh, disc like discredit a Resident Evil game. If it's Resident Evil, there's always that hope that it's going to be good. And this one, it's going to be fucking VR, bro. Resident Evil VR, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be really fucking good. Uh, but the VR 399, nothing new. Uh, the thing, they showed a couple of VR trailers, and it's really tough to really see if uh, VR games are good in trailers because you kind of have to experience it for yourself. Showing a VR game in a trailer doesn't look fucking good in my opinion. It looks kind of boring. Uh, they showed a Battlefront VR. Battlefront sucked ass. So I can care less about it. But they did announce Batman VR. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit interests me. Batman VR? Yo. Tough, bro. I want to play that shit. Um... And the best trailer out of everything they showed was the Call of Duty. I'm sorry. If that game was named anything else other than Call of Duty, people would go fucking crazy. That Call of Duty trailer looked badass, bro. Uh, you can't even lie. Uh, then they showed uh, Skylanders and Lego games. It was kind of crazy that Sony's pushing that Skylanders game after all the shit they were talking about casual gaming and Nintendo. But, yeah, I guess they, they got to do what you got to do. Kojima... It was announcing an exclusive game. Really not a big deal. Kojima was exclusive to Sony before. No big deal. Uh, his game was pretty much about a naked man. Like, Sony gamers, you're hyped. You're hyped about that game that has a naked man in it. Yeah, I bet you guys are. Um, 
They then Sony showed some zombie game. I mean, Microsoft already did that before Dead Rising. And honestly, I'm, I'm over zombie games. I don't know about the rest of you guys. It was called Days Gone. I wasn't really hyped. But the main thing, how did Sony lose this press conference to Microsoft? Ready for it? Drum roll. That's my little drum roll. Because they didn't talk about the Project Neo. Where was the Project Neo, people? Yo, I bet any amount of money that Sony got so fucking shook. They're like, oh shit, that Xbox One Scorpio? We, it's fucking amazing. We can't talk about the Project Neo. Yo, they got punked, bro. They Microsoft killed them. How is there all these rumors that even Sony really specs about of this PlayStation 4K Project Neo and you don't talk about it at E3, the biggest press conference ever? You got fucking punked. They got shook. They changed their E3 whole presentation. Like, what the fuck? How do you not show your Project Neo? With all the great game trailers they might have shown, the fact that Microsoft showed that one console that's clearly going to be the most powerful console ever, that's clearly going to be more powerful than 85, 90% of all PC gamers, of all PC gamers gaming rigs, you don't show your Project Neo because that, pr that, pr that proves and shows that this Xbox One Scorpio is leaps and bounds more powerful than the Project Neo. And Microsoft fucking had them shook and Sony didn't talk about it. And because they didn't talk about it, Microsoft won E3 2016. I rest my case, bro. Until next time, fanboys, don't get mad at me. I'm just stating the facts. Until next time, make sure to subscribe for future videos. Until next time, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Peace.